hello there person looking at this video. So you must be having the same issues I am. And well, you would use two webcams at once and they're both older webcams. They're not new webcams, like brand new. And uh, you were getting a blue screen when using Windows 10. And that that's pretty struggling and pretty uh, horrible. But as you can see, I have my nice 1080p webcam here that became, it basically became a problem when I was using my crappier 720p webcam that I have over sitting uh, here that you can't see off in the distance. And it would crash and blue screen every time I would start OBS. So today I'm going to show you the website that you need to go to and what you need to find. So here. This is the Logitech support website. I had to track this down myself, and it took me a very long time to find it. Granted, now it really helps. Trust me on this. Now, it may look complicated at first because you see all these amazing webcams here. You have to find out what... This is why I recommend keeping boxes, too. What model your webcam is. For example... My model webcam that I'm using right now is the HDC615. And what you want to do is you want to look for the LSW driver or the whatever driver is on this side here. And for in my instance, that is LSW280. So then you click here. You go to Operating System Support. Now, you'll get a bunch of lists here going all the way from Windows 10 back down to Windows 98. I know, it is crazy. But for my example here, it said that LS2.80 would be the perfect driver because it is compatible with Windows 8, Windows 10, and Windows 8 Pro, and Windows 10 Pro. And that is exactly what we have right here. We have Windows 10 Pro. And we have it, and it had this issue with this blue screen. So obviously when you're looking here, you do not, repeat, do not download the wrong driver. If you download the wrong driver, your PC will refuse to start up unless you unplug your webcam. And then you have to uninstall your webcam. And it, then it's just a horrible process. So what you do is, is you download the LSW280 driver. Once you are done with that, you go to wherever you downloaded it. So for me, that's downloads. And right here you see LSW or LWS280. This is my quick crank. Quick cam driver, my 720p one. What you want to do is you want to open it. And obviously, I won't open it because I got my driver working. But when you open it, it'll take you through a setup process. And then eventually, you'll get to the point where it'll finally finish. And then you should go back into OBS and your camera should be working. Now, another thing I have to recommend is, is that do not use Windows Automatic Installer for any driver. Any driver. Always go find your drivers on an external website. But this was my problem, and that's how I fixed it. Thanks for watching, and if this did help you, comment below, maybe leave a like. It would be appreciated, even a subscribe. Thanks, and goodbye.